Nether Mill was a corn and meal mill in Kilburnie, North Ayrshire. It lay close to the River Garnock, and its laid carried water from further upstream, probably near the site of the present-day Stony Home Mill, which was once a flax mill and later a cotton mill. The word nether in Scots means lower. This probably refers to the fact it lies downstream from the Stony Home Mill that's closer to the centre of Kilburnie. Little is known about Nether Mill, however in 1750 a map was drawn that shows Neth Mill marked. Also further up where the laid would be there's a, a laid side or load side house. In the 1850s George Dickey was the tenant, that is the miller. The property was owned by the Earl of Glasgow. Nearby was a small cottage known as Unthank or Onthank. This is not shown in the 1909 map. Nearby was a lime kiln. Now, lime was used for farming, so, so it suggests that Unthank was also a small farmhouse. And maybe the, the miller, um, out of season, also did some farming. Quite common for millers to have two jobs. Often there were blacksmiths. The reason for this is that once the harvest had been brought to the mill and the grain had been ground, then there'd be a spell of, of a few months with little work for them to do. The name unthank or unthank isn't uncommon. It's thought to be derived from one of two words. Either it means squatters, that is, people who were farming the land without permission, or possibly refers to the fact that the soil here was of poor quality. The mill is clearly marked on several maps drawn in the 1830s. It's shown on the first Ordnance Survey map of around 1855. A roughly rectangular mill pond is shown above the mill. And the mill is basically a rectangular building, but nearby, slightly to the north, there are other buildings that appear to be associated and possibly a small garden or vegetable plot is shown. There was certainly stabling for horses here. By 1909, the railway had been built very close by, slightly to the east. This is the Lanarkshire and Ayrshire Railway, the Coburnie branch. The 1909 Ordnance Survey map also shows a substantial increase in the size and complexity of the building. A cottage or a, a kiln for drying the corn had been built slightly to the south, just beyond the water wheel, and the main mill building itself had been expanded. The 1938 Ordnance Area map shows the mill as disused, and it appears to have been totally abandoned after that time. The mill pond had also been drained. In 2022, there appear to be some industrial buildings lying to the north that may have been originally part of the mill complex. The mill itself, only basically one of the walls facing onto the lane remains, but next to it are the remains of the water wheel, which was made of iron. The iron water wheel was probably added during the time of the expansion that's shown on the 1909 Ordnance Survey map. The wheel itself was intact in 1967, however the outer rim, which is cast iron, has been broken. The inner rim is still there. This has a rather unusual series of cogs running around the inside that link with a wheel that drove the water wheel through a separate drive. Often water wheels use the main axle for the drive, but not in this case. No mill machinery survives inside the mill and there's no sign of the millstones themselves. The splash wall of the wheel pit is still very visible. Uh, this is always made of high quality stone because of the constant action of water against it. The tail race carrying water from the mill down into the garnick is still visible. <laughs>